Hey, it's Dave, the train guy from the Hobby Man by Hearns today. And today we're just going to do a piece or a piece of rolling stock. That's a part of our Bachmann's uh, latest release, and they've just hit our shelves about two, three weeks ago. And it's a rather interesting little piece. It's a flat wagon and you probably think this is the first time you've probably seen me ever do a, a review on a piece of rolling stock and it, will, it would be but it's a flat wagon used during world war ii by the ministry of well, i suppose the war department i suppose would be the english term for it uh, flat wagon bogey flat wagon with tank okay so we'll open it up um, it's a rather interesting piece if you're doing a period train in the 40s or you had them sitting around in a, in a siding at a junction station or something like that and they would look great if you had multiple multiple of these all coupled together with their tank loads on top okay so what'd you get here we go the unboxing Ta -da. All right, so what you get, you get a really nice flat wagon, uh, free rolling, nice and heavy, nicely weighted. That's usually the problem with most uh, flat wagons in any scale is that they're always hard to keep on the track. And um, yeah, because I'll be so lightly, they bounce off. But the bonus with this, as we said previous, is you get a tank. And it's not really a, a crudely knocked up tank, just to, they actually put a bit of effort into it. So you can actually see a little machine gun protruding there. It's a British Oliver or Cromwell, Cromwell tank? Oliver Cromwell tank. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. And I can be corrected on this because I'm not actually a tank expert. I have an interest in them, but I, I'm not a tank expert. Yeah, so there we go. Just that three quarter shot. That looks rather nicely detailed. Now, I believe the White Star doesn't mean it's an American tank. I believe it's probably used during the D-Day invasion of France. So I think it's just to obviously identify the good guys from the bad guys. Yeah. But anyway, as it comes in the box, the uh, cannon is to the long end. So obviously for transportation. And uh, this is really good too. It's magnetized. So it's not going to shift around as your train moves around. Whoa, there we go. Upside down tank. All right. And on top of that, like most stuff you get from Backman, there's usually a bag of goodies. And if I can just find them. You get a series of shackles, lockdowns. So I believe the theory what you would need to do is uh, you've got these little pre-molded holes whoops we lost our tank and yeah, there's the magnets you have these little pre-molded holes and the lockdown shackles with their handles and i'll just bring them to focus it would be inserted in there so it doesn't look like the tank's just precariously balancing on top of a deck of a flat wagon uh, yeah there we go you can see a bit of detail you can see actually a bit of a, a hook there yeah so there we go. War Department flat wagon with a Cromwell tank. That would look really good. You had about five or six of those on that train. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's me for today on this presentation. Uh, we'll have a few more Backman uh, latest releases shortly. And until then, happy railway modelling. See ya. Bye.